Hi everybody, it's Jake Johnson from Jake Showcase. Okay, well this has been an interesting day. I've uh, actually already shot this video. I wanted to uh, give one last time to uh, show my weight and I wanted to give a rundown of exactly what I eat throughout the day. Uh, so um, you, you can get an idea. Now the first time I shot this video, I um, I was so low and so low and fat the scale couldn't read it, and um, I, it really kind of uh, got me at a at a loss on what to do. So uh, just in reviewing it, I just decided that I was going to eat. I eat a bit now. I can actually get a reading of uh, fat percentage. So let's take a look at the scale together here. Again, this is a thinner scale that I bought at uh, Walmart. You get it for about forty dollars, thirty-five, forty dollars. I believe it's well worth it because it provides you with your uh, body fat and your water and your BMI all on the same scale very easy to use so wait till it goes to the zero there and I'll just get onto the scale okay and it says 109 decimal nine for wheat okay and then the next thing it's gonna say here is the uh, fat pounds 6.7 fat pounds and as a body fat percentage 6.2 okay then it goes to your water percentage and your bone density percentage and the last thing is 17.9 uh, BMI so just to give you a bit of a perspective um, LeBron James, when he was uh, getting drafted, when he got drafted into the NBA, he was at 6.7, and uh, Kevin Durant, he was at 6.6 as uh, body fat percentage. So me being at 6.2%, uh, I'm more than pleased. That's quite, uh, you know, quite, uh, quite lean. And I do, do not have a six pack, but I am pretty, pretty lean, as you can see. Okay, and uh, you know I attribute that to uh, uh, exercise, but uh, mostly diet, which brings us to uh, you know what I wanted to show you. Now, normally, in fact, what I normally do is go and I type it into calorie calorie count dot about dot ca or dot com. Sorry, calorie count dot about dot com. I have a tutorial um, on uh, on Jake Showcase uh, website there that you can go through. I'm not going to do it right now because the screen flickers when I use the uh, HD mode. So uh, let's take a look here at what I uh, eat and what I wanted to show you. So first thing I wanted you to notice here is that uh, this is the amount of water I drink. This is 18 bottles of water. And uh, you know I usually drink uh, plus or minus one or two of these. Um, you know it, uh, the water is so good for you, right? It flushes your system, takes the poisons out. You know there's no calories or of course in, in just plain old water. Now. I usually buy the cases and then I refill the bottles because I don't like paying for bottled water, you know. Um, I also I'm also a real big uh, also a real big coffee fan, uh, you know. Just uh, coffee. I drink coffee about two or three pots a day, um, or you know. And what you know, coffee is actually quite good for you. It, it doesn't have any calories in it as long as you don't add any cream and sugar. In fact, I got some on right now because it's just uh, after dinner here, and I wanted, or I was just enjoying some coffee. So now today, um, today I for you know another day I had, I had my favorite here, which is the Iron marinating steak. Right, I always get the under five dollar, under five dollar one. It's extremely lean. Fortunately, I don't have it to show you because I ate it, right? And uh, I have about half a sweet potato. Or, or a yam and uh, about an equal amount of a white potato. Now you can interchange the meat here and sometimes I do if I'm, I'm trying to lose weight with this uh, you know uh, solid white albacore low sodium low sodium. Sodium is the number one thing you want to cut if you're trying to uh, lose weight. Okay now the next thing I'll eat uh, for tonight this will be next in fact as soon as I'm finished with this I'm gonna have some is this uh, kiwi. Now these happen to be organic kiwi, but any kiwi is great. These have got tons of vitamins for you. That are, they're absolutely amazing in vitamin C. They're uh, they got they're just so good for you. I eat this. You, you should eat the skin with it, just not a little, little nub. Um, these are organic. They're not. This was two dollars at uh, 
at uh, the local store here, which is real cheap. Usually they're about 50 cents each, but they're well worth it. Um, they're really good for your skin. Uh, as is this, which I always I get about a handful of these walnuts. This is like, these are like really, really good for you too, the uh, Omega-3. And um, I used to use like weight scales and, and stuff like that when I was getting going and typing stuff into a uh, calorie count all the time. But now I just grab a little a handful of them and uh, you know, and I have two of these and then that, that's really good for a dessert if you will. Okay, so now this potato here is now actually over here because I already ate my potato. Uh, and uh, so I have again, I'll have a half potato and a white potato and uh, a tuna fish, right, which is a real lean, good source of protein. Now, I know a lot of people say the chicken, and I agree, but I don't have one of those, uh, you know, I'm not a big cooking guy, so, you know, I'm satisfied with eating tuna. So then after that, uh, I would have the spinach here. Spinach is, a, is another super food here. You can't go wrong with spinach. I think it's like the second or third best food you can possibly eat. So, I mean, between this, kiwi, you know, walnuts, you're, you're, you're really racking it up. I'll fill up this bowl here with the, the spinach, so almost half a bag or maybe a third of a bag. And then I'll get a, a good amount of baby carrots, these two together here, and that's a great little snack. Then a little bit later here, I'll have this brown rice, this whole grain brown rice. That's what you want where it says the whole grain, right? It's pretty, it takes a little while to cook it, so you basically one one cup of this and then two and a half cups of water. Um, or, but I have a little bit less than that, you know, than a whole cup. And go figure, once again, another lean protein with the uh, solid white tuna that's low in sodium. Um, and then uh, my worst thing I have here is this Cheerio. It's the regular old Cheerios. Um, they're, they are a processed flour. They're not that good for you. But uh, actually, they're not that bad for you either. If you When you go on to calorie count, you'll see it, it's ranked as an A- minus because it's got a lot of minerals and stuff. So, you know, the, 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 that is it. That is all I eat. That is like every day. That is like, you know, that's like, you know, that's it. I don't have uh, Oreo cookies in this mixture. I don't have any chocolate ice cream in this mixture. I don't have any, well, that, that's what I have. And it's really good for you. I mean, it's really good. It tastes good. Um, it's just a little bit of an adjustment, right? It's an adjustment to a different, um, different eating pattern. Right, so if you can pick up, let's say for example, like you know, you, you want to stick with your uh, your chocolate ice cream and your 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 cake, maybe. Well, that's fine, that's fine. But if you maybe if you start eating one kiwi, or maybe you uh, you start to eat some uh, low sodium tuna fish, or white tuna fish, that's really good. Uh, or say if you get into spinach, and instead of the lettuce, you just start start going with the spinach, which is much, this is much much better. You know, you're well on your way. Because exercise is really important, or it's important, but diet is way, way more important, right? So it's like, um, you know, when you go diet versus exercise, diet wins hands down every time. Okay, so as you can see, you know, 6.2% body fat, you know, it's pretty good. Not bad. I'm not going to be doing this uh, all, all the time. This will be my last time doing this. Uh, we'll, uh, you know, just want to give you a feel for, uh, you know, how I eat and, you know, sort of my outlook on uh, fitness and nutrition, you know. Simple and effective. All right. So I hope it helps maybe you. All right. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.